Alrighty, PG-13, this is G.I. Joe 1987. And you know, what was my favorites from the Battle Force line, Battle Force 2000? I did have all of the figures, they did come in two packs back in the day. But most of their weapons did not fit in their hands. So you have to be very careful of what you try to put in the figure's hands. And always do the figure test. If it doesn't fit in easily, don't put it in at all. But now there was six figures and then another figure came out later on, DJ. So we had Avalanche, well, Maverick, Maverick is right there, Dodger, Blaster, Blocker, and Knockdown. <laughs> Knockdown's in the back there with DJ. Now those were the six and 87 plus the one extra that came out after <laughs> this line could have been made way better i mean you know they always have the vehicle cramp cramped space but some of the vehicles were kind of cool in the sense that all these vehicles doubled as two vehicles so you got two for the price of one or except for the pulverizer tank which was just one <laughs> so I don't know what happened there I guess they strayed away from their their designs but the Battle Force line we did get the uh, well, the vector the eliminator the pulverizer and the Muller <laughs> there they go ours is the Marauder and then we had the Vindicator and well that one would be the uh, Skysweeper <laughs> so some of the names were kind of stupid that last one because I think they reused the name for other things <laughs> Skysweeper doesn't even fly <laughs> you could always pretend now this is like some of the vehicles were two vehicles and one or two two items or one you know turned out to be part of a they all cr transformed into a base now I did not own the Eliminator but after getting it <clears throat> last year I was like wow this is fantastic but unrealistic for the missiles right <laughs> you can't fire off your missiles like this and <laughs> I'll just blow up the other ones <sighs> <clears throat> no, they're heat sensitive. They're, they're special missiles. <laughs> they're, they're special. And it did have like some laser cannons on the front. This thing is bigger than a vamp and I'm very impressed by the actual size of it. And the other part did turn into a base and you had an awesome cannon that's almost like the alien's gun. So this is cool. It does rotate. And it's got a little seating here. So you're, you're controlling your laser. <laughs> Try not to shoot yourself with your laser. But anyways, this laser is pretty cool. They could have used this laser on other vehicles for sure. I don't know. I like this vehicle. I'm kind of impressed with it. I really wish I had it as a kid. But, you know, you couldn't buy everything when you're, when you're a kid. Or you bought other things that you liked more. Because <laughs> you didn't really know. Now, I know my friend had some of the other vehicles, but again, I think the Eliminator is one of my favorites out of the bunch. And it did like, you know, it does turn. But yeah, it does roll pretty smooth. <laughs> oh no, we're having malfunctions. It, it, it will roll. <laughs> so I, I did love that vehicle. That's, that's a cool vehicle. But I did not own it. Now, what would come in second here? I did own the other one back there. <laughs> My friend had the Vector, so I was able to play with it at his place. But I did, I think I did have the Vindicator. And that was kind of neat. But I just, you know, I like seeing how these two-in-one vehicles are. You know, some of them had just base parts, but some of them had other cool vehicles inside. If you can, like, split them open without breaking them. Okay. Well, there we go. 
Now this, I love this little tank. Like, <laughs> it's kind of neat. Hmm. I mean, again, like, this was the Dominator. This little tank had other little, you know, just a couple little guns. <laughs> However, this is not the antenna for it. And it really sucks that it's made in white. Because anything white always, you know, changes. <laughs> the colors tend to fade. Or, oh. It's supposed to have a ratchet. But I don't know if this ratchet's worn out. Most likely. <laughs> so you got, a, again, a little tank. You got a little tank with a big punch. So this turret is kind of oversized. <laughs> well, tank. But it's kind of neat. <laughs> mm. So yes, would I recommend this? This would be actually kind of cool for army building. You know, you could use your helicopter to lift it up. Mm. <laughs> this is awesome. Mm. And then avalanche would obviously fit in here. Some people even put the hatch right down. I don't know if, if you can. <laughs> so you kind of got some cover then. <laughs> but anyways. <laughs> now I did have foot pegs on the back as well as the toe. So this was one of my other favorites. I really loved how the vec vector was. But again, the cockpit is way too small. So like the only way to fit the figures in. And you know, they always cheap out on the landing gear and in smaller vehicles or even in larger vehicles for that matter <laughs> but you have to like really cram them in here which is really stupid like you know you design a, a cool jet but then you don't make it big enough so they could sell it at a, sell it for a cheaper price well <laughs> again it's just sometimes he fits in <laughs> it depends how you get him in here mm. so there <laughs> he is in with a little bit of you know, trouble. Now another commonly broken part on, on the vector you have to watch is your laser cannon so when you're opening this you know you have to have your laser cannons down because if you go to close it the other way you'll snap them right off but otherwise you know this has a cool pod that separates <laughs> it just pulls out you know, they should have made some sort of boosters or something. Some more detail. <laughs> Ooh. It's use your imagination. He's the pod man. <sighs> now this would have been cool if it was like on a on a jet upside down. Just like how the flying fortresses were. Or even part of another vehicle. Oh man, if they would have attached something like this, made a spot on the Phantom. That would have been awesome. Just slit this in here, have it plug in, and then you could pull it out. Oh, wow. You know, Hasbro, I, I don't know. Hasbro could do a lot more for this line. And they could have added more figures to the Battle Force line, but then just like many other of the subgroups, they just vanish, you know? They don't ever talk about them again or have them on. Now, the Sergeant Slaughter's Marauders, that other subgroup, they did get a lot of uh, play in the comics and stuff, or cartoon. But this here, you know, this is cool. It just slides back. And then you have a little mini hovercraft with, again, four missiles. So, I mean, these vehicles are kind of fantastic. We, uh, we might not have enough time to get through it all, but as you can see, they are pretty neat. So, the Vindicator and the Vector. <laughs> so, the Vindicator it is kind of new, kind of cool. It's got little wheels too. I mean, it is a hovercraft. It's got some cannons on the front and, and the back. You know, it's got some cool detail to it. This almost is like a drone. It's got the drone technology. <laughs> So now those are the vehicles that basically came two in one and then you had the, the motorbike I didn't I don't know again if you want to watch HCC Hooded Cobra Commander how he, <laughs> he puts the guy on here it's just this is not realistic so 
I mean, it's a cool idea, but you know, the cannon should have been up front, up top here. It's, instead, they're gonna drag and hit the ground and snag. And the seats, you know, this should have all just been one piece. And maybe you, you could have like made the back part rotate a bit so the seats would have kind of stayed. I don't know. Whoever designed this <laughs> you know, kind of sucked. But the back part did separate, and you have to watch because over time, you know, it will do that. <laughs> I mean, this had a little laser cannon. I don't know if it turned. Looks like it might. It looks like it. Oh yeah, it does. So it's really stiff to turn. So, but again, is this neat? I don't know. I really don't like this one. <laughs> the Mulder. <laughs> is it a Marauder? Yeah, it's a Marauder. Sorry. They called it a Marauder. <laughs> Anyways, it's not as cool. So I didn't really. I don't recommend that one. But you need all of them if you're gonna try to make the giant base. And I know we've we've talked about this before, but again, we're, we're just gonna go through this line. This is kind of neat. This reminds me of like a space vehicle. So if you're having like a space force, you know, you could use this one for sure. <clears throat> but yeah, space force. And the back part did raise up. The back part comes off. And then it exposes the missile launchers underneath. You do have missiles. Um, this doesn't pop up, which kind of sucks. But again, this is more like a space vehicle. And it is still super hard <laughs> to rotate this. But it's got a cool radar system. And, uh, you know, it does also... <laughs> Look at the giant laser on this thing. So it is cool. You could have this for your Space Force. Number six. <laughs> so, the Sky Sweeper. Should they have called it something else? Yes. And this part obviously comes apart to make like a part of a base. I don't know if I have two of the same pieces. That one says left. This one says right. So maybe not. So anyways, this does go together and then this becomes like another base. If you got a bunch of these, then you'd be able to make something. So it is kind of cool. And do I recommend this vehicle? I do. But it's not on the top of the list. And there's an antenna that I always forget to tell you about. And it plugs in. <laughs> it says right and left and then... <laughs> you gotta make sure you got the missiles. You gotta switch these around again. <laughs> so, anyways, I do recommend the Battle Force line. And it is cool. But some of the figures really sucked, like Knockdown. I didn't like that figure. I mean, <laughs> his head sculpt was crappy. This is this is a loose one that I got. I had like three of them. Just turn them into parts. Now there's Blaster, Blocker. These three, Maverick is not too bad, but DJ, uh, <clears throat> I didn't like his head sculpt. I mean, this is just pathetic same with his boots if they would have gave him a better head sculpt his face looks cool but like just the helmet and stuff I didn't like so it wasn't a great sculpted figure but these three oh are not too bad at all the fourth one avalanche and maverick you know if you if you're looking for them though I would definitely get these ones Anyways, thanks for watching and I hope you enjoy the videos and we will be talking a little bit more about subgroups in the next video. Alrighty, and remember, take care and prepare and if you're a new collector of any age, go to your collectible stores near you.